this is part two, whether you believe it or not. <laughs> That's a pan of colors that I will list the colors underneath the video that I'm going to use to apply to this canvas with a shovel. And this was Rhapsody Rose and Quinacridone Magenta on top of Artist Loft White. And there was too much white. And I just kept smoothing it out with my spatula. And I'll link the first part underneath the video. And I have way more paint than I anticipated. And I am going to swipe. And I am going to be as random as I can be applying this. I want some more purple. And I didn't put a base layer and I'm glad I didn't in this case. It doesn't matter if I dribble because I'm going to use a card. If I want another color, I've got them handy, and I may, but I've got a full pan, too. I might put trees in if I can make my flaccid balloon <laughs> I used yesterday that disappointed me, and I can't find the rest of my balloon, so I wasn't prepared today to do what I wanted to do. It's just been one of those days thinking I'm probably going to want to grab an edge catcher in a moment. I'm going to clean off my shovel on the edge of the canvas and let the paint fall down over. I'm going to try and keep the end clear until later because that way I might have something to hold on to. Sort of my 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 adventure with part one sort of was so dismaying it kind of made me nervous so I need to do something with this right now. There we go. Wipe my fingers off. Find a card. So I've got a rather large card that just came into my hands and I'm thinking that's what I'm going to use. I'll use the one the side with the rounded corners. I have a rounded corner. How clever of me. And I should have started with the black, because that is what I like lately. Let me grab another... Well, let's just pour off into this dish. It's one of those days. It doesn't happen too often, fortunately. I'm going to use both the Boom Gel Pearlescent Teal and the Boom Gel Pearlescent Violet. I think I saw something in there I'm not sure I want in there, which is looking like a rather large lump. off my card on the bottom of my canvas. I've got other cards and I'm probably going to use them. That one's going in the bucket, I think. Oops. That was my shutter release. Let's use a little bit of spatula and see how I like it like that. my paint back in there. Oh, that's pretty. Wow. Okay, well that worked out way better than I was anticipating, <laughs> considering the day. <laughs> I'm even dropping stuff. Dropping stuff and shivering, or shaking just a little bit. Really weird. All right, so the two boom gels worked really well together. 
So I'm going to do that again. This time I'll go half and half or some variation on that. Right up into the sky. Okay, so we're going to have mountains all the way up. Because there's no way I'm getting the paint that just spattered up there out. I can certainly take the paint that dribbled over the edge and use it up there. Cool. That'll work. Get rid of that bubble. I need a different scrape dish and it's not attached to three others. Wipe off my card and keep an eye on, see how I like things. And I'm kind of liking things a lot. I meant to use some gold and I suppose I still could. Check for the 10% coupon code for pixel paint designs. That can go away. I need to be able to turn my turntable. I want to steal some paint and put it on the bottom. I want to pop that bubble with the side of my card too. Well, I'm liking all that very much, actually. So I'm going to do it again. And maybe, just maybe, we'll still have time for some trees. I don't know which I like better, the, the teal or the violet, but I like them both. Let's just dip my card right in the paint. If I had some cell activator, I'd probably do that too. I'm just going to steal some of this paint. It's dripping down. I like the stripes as well as I like the cells. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to leave them. going to use every bit of paint that I can lay my hands on. Maybe steal a little more out of the dish. And I could certainly put some cell activator up there, but I'm not sure I need it. Usually I tip, but I'm glad I have GAC 800 by Golden in my mixes, which means that my paint won't crack if I leave it heavy. Alright, let's try and see what time we have left. I've got enough time to do something, and that's very cool. The sky's not looking as bad as I thought I would. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it. And the nice thing about the paint is that the next day, the sheer stuff will work out really well. I can always add something else to it. It's time to organize the studio so I have places to put things down. Alright, so I have 
Hopefully that's... Mm, I'm not so sure about that. Maybe I should turn that around so you can have a look at it before I do anything to it. It does look like a beautiful sky. At least I got the shape that I was looking for. I wasn't sure I was going to get that. Got to be careful not to leave a mark. I would like to check and see how heavy that paint is before I go putting a balloon in there. And I kind of want some more purple in there right now. And I'll use what I started with. Try that. I've got a little space, which is a good reflection of the sky. That makes me want some darker purple. I've got indigo violet. paint up there. I think I should probably be waiting for it to be drier. <laughs> Looks like a forest along the edge of the... <laughs> I'll have to put trunks in later. Those are my trees, such as they are. I suppose I could always add more if I wanted to. Let's see if I can do something. I don't want to use black cell activator, but I have black paint. And I'm going to use the end. Pull those trunks right down. I think I'm going to have to use a straw. I may have to go over the colors in the in the trunks again tomorrow. <laughs> but at least I got a few trees in there, right? <laughs> I might use a skewer. I just steal some paint. Put a few trees in the background. There seems to be plenty of paint to go around. Which reminds me, I'm going to have to torch this.
I'll just pretend some of those are in the background much further away than I was. Let's just make them go right up the hill. I think that's pretty much it. That's what I can do for now. Take my balloon and fix my bottom. Okay. So, if you like what I do, give me a thumbs up. I'm trying really hard to get my head out of the picture. I don't know if it's working or not, but I'll tell you. I'll tell you later about my trick if it worked. Let's give it a bit of a torch. I really do like keeping some of the stripes. I mean, I definitely love the celly areas. Wish my balloon had been a little co more cooperative. If I've got any places to fill in, I've got plenty of paint to fill in with. If I want to add trees, I can add more trees tomorrow. I think I'm all set though. I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for watching them longer. Thank you for putting up with me on my weird day. I love these dendrite things that look like a forest along the edge of the mountain. That's pretty cool. And uh, anything that's a gap is going to get my fingerprint in it. Probably right now. Not that it's really something you should worry about because probably the paint will, will spread off. I'm going to try my hardest to give you a shimmer. I think the sky is going to be pretty in spite of my panicking earlier. And like I said, it was just one of my OXO omelette turning flip and fold spatulas that you can find on the, uh, on the Amazon link on my link tree. Don't forget to look for the Color Art coupon code. There's 20% off. I'm an affiliate, so you help me out if you shop Color Art. Come on, cooperate. I'm liking all that. Thank you for joining me. I hope you join me again. I post at 10.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. There's some really pretty areas in there. I like the, the contrast of the black cells. I like the purple in there. I like the sky with it too. So what can I tell you? I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I do sell my artwork. I'd like to sell my artwork. My email, should you want to contact me for any reason, is EASPB in the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I'd be happy to give you information about a lesson, lesson classes. <laughs> it's just one of those days. Anyway, um, thank you for my new members. I appreciate you being here. I hope you're enjoying the 80 plus videos, probably closer to 100 by now. And uh, I'll be fixing my tree trunks tomorrow if I need to. I think I said that already, but it's definitely got to happen, I think, from the looks of things. Um, whatever I forgot, I'll tell you some, some other time. Questions are welcome. My community board will show you tomorrow's video. And uh, uh, underneath the video, you'll find spring clothing. And on my link tree, you'll find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook group, Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Appreciation Group, and my Society6 and my Legalerist, and all kinds of places that you could have whatever I make added to whatever you'd like to see it added to. So let me know if you'd like that to happen, and we can work together. And I want to thank you again for being here, and I hope you come again. Bye for now. Priscilla out. <laughs>